All right, in round two, we're definitely going to keep this hand. I mean, we can make it so we get to leave up Silimgar scoring on turn two, and if we draw any land, we can play Infiltrator. I mean, I think I'm... I think it's in our best interest to probably play Infiltrator first. Especially since he just played a Sage. Uh, I'd like to cast Silmgar Scorn here, but I do have to keep in mind I've I've got the uh, basically rocking a hard counter at the moment. But I'm likely to want to just counter a morph here or something that he plays. Hopefully he does play something. Uh, no plays is kind of a bummer, but we'll have to allow it. Uh, at least next turn I can play Aspirant and leave up Silimgar Scorn. So there's some some benefit to that. All right, guess he got us there. All right, I'm still feeling pretty good actually. So now we get to go Aspirant and leave up Hard Counter, which is kind of nice actually. I always like it when Silmgar Scorn plays well. He can definitely cast Anticipate. Certainly not worth a Silmgar Scorn there. What's kind of interesting is with Kindled Fury, I can kill a four toughness guy with my Coligan Aspirant. But I think we're likely going to have to counter something here. Yeah, I would say. And what's nice is I don't even have to reveal my Mind Scour Dragon. We get to just Force Spike him. Not that it's like, you know, ultra powerful. So I could have dashed there, but I'd rather just hard cast it. We want to present a lot more uh, pressure to the board at the moment. Kind of wish I had that Icefall Regent, by the way. <laughs> All right. So we're land away from our dragon, which is good. Spell Fist is actually fine. With Cunning Strike and Kindled Fury in hand, it's pretty good. Mm, it's still fine. Um, I think we just cast Mind Scour Dragon here. I could have swung in and used Kindled Fury when he likely blocked my Aspirant, but he might have blocked my Spell Fist. Well. Probably should have attacked first, but I just wanted to guarantee attack with the or play my Mind Scour Dragon since it's a fairly big threat at, on this board. Plus, Spell Fist with Cunning Strike and Kindled Fury is is pretty good. Uh oh. Well, that's gonna be an issue. All right, it's pretty intimidating. S 
so three cards left in his hand. I can swing with everything. I kind of feel like I'm going to have to, but uh, let's do it. I want to see how he blocks. All right. This is actually pretty good. So we get to Kindled Fury, Dragon. Then we get to Cunning Strike, Drowner. Berserker's not bad. So we do at least kill most of his things. Still in a... Not like trouble per se, but... I mean, we, we definitely did a good job on that board state. But we're still... Still got some work to do. No doubt about that. And him exploiting could cause some... Present some issues. All right, well, it's not too intimidating, I guess. Mm. Guess we just attack Dragon and then play out the rest of our hand. I'm actually happier he took that damage. We don't have any delve, so I guess it's in our best interest to mill him. He could have delve, but at this point, it's not like he can't delve anything anyway. Oh, he's playing Silumgar Scorn as well, I see. Well, that's interesting. No plays. So what combat trick does he have? I don't know. We're just going to swing with Dragon, though. If he's got a combat trick, so be it. But we'll force him to have it. I mean, we've got five non-creature spells left that we're hoping pan out here. Could have Butcher's Glee, I suppose. No. Well, that's not a big deal. Still a good trade. I mean, I would argue Death Fang's better than our uh, Mind Scour Dragon. I mean, we, we just basically need to clean up with these spell fists. And we're going to be in good shape. All right. We'll take a Yeti. Could draw an Ojitai's Breath, and I think he might be in bigger trouble here. Um, yeah, I guess we can't.
I can block with a Spell Fist and a Berserker on the Yeti, but like I said, I kind of wanted to use my my dudes for more value there. Uh, I'm going to go to 11 here. Next turn, I'm probably going to have to block. All right. Beam, that's a good one. All right. Didn't get contradicted, so that's a good sign. Hmm. I wonder why I didn't attack with the Yeti. Alright, I mean, certainly can't do anything with the lands. I think we're likely just going to two for one ourselves here now to block the Yeti. I think it makes more sense. Alright, it's a bit intimidating. So I guess we go Berserker Aspirant on Yeti if he attacks. I'm at the point where... Oh, I see. That's interesting. Hmm... Huh. I think we take two here. No, I'm just drawn too many lands. Well, I, I can't do anything about it. It's just one of those things that you can't avoid. Certainly not happy about it, but we're just not drawn hot enough. Yeah, we just we drew too poorly. All right, I think we triple block here. I kind of need the scout to block the summit prowler. Oh, now I get the OG. <laughs> yeah, that's that's about right. That is about right. That was a big old bummer. Guess I should have blocked with Aspirant Scout, but clearly you see the problem with that is then I don't have a blocker for Summit Prowler. So, yeah. I mean, maybe we're just on deck our opponent plan, but that seems pretty unlikely. Hmm. 
No, there's collateral damage. So, let's see here. Ojtai's Breath, Summit Prowler, get in for two. He goes to eight. Next turn he goes to six. Then he goes to four. Let's try it. Still got a bit of work here. We're going to take the two here. Why didn't he not attack with the Manifest now? That's strange. I mean, we're very close to lethal. Once we cast Collateral Damage next turn, we can take him to one. I think he just forgot to attack. No. It's not quite good enough. Well, I actually don't mind that. I think we have to wait for another spell. Yeah, that's actually all right. do see the problem here, but I kind of feel like I have to block, because if I go to one and I don't draw the spell, I'm in big trouble, so. Oh, we still win with a spell, I think. Oh, why did I not block the, that was a screw up. Oh, well, maybe it wasn't a screw up. Should have collateral damage in response, but I think I just die if I don't deal it to him. All right. Uh, we drew, like, way too many lands. What can I say? I wanted the win, but couldn't get it. Came so close, too. Definitely a sad, sad, sad bummer, but these happen. Hopefully we can draw better in uh, game two. We were very close to winning this game. But, uh... Just not close enough, sadly. Maybe I intimidate him with the morph. I don't know. Oh, that's a bummer. So close. Closeness to victory really cannot be overstated here. The 
closeness to victory cannot be overstated. Looks like all the rest of our spells are at the end of our deck, though. All right, well, it was a disappointing loss, but it does happen. Uh, I guess to bring in the negate. He had enough removal and other nonsense where I want to, especially since he's running collateral damage as well, and he's running contradict, so... Um, Probably want to cut something, don't I? Hmm. Maybe want to cut a creature. So I'm not exactly sure which one. Probably a two drop, but I kind of like all of them. Maybe the Sage, or maybe a Scout. Maybe Scout is worse. Yeah, you know what? Scout actually is a little bit worse because he's got the... But then again, Sage isn't the best against Dragon Fodder either. But Marty Scout's particularly bad against Dragon Fodder. All right, let's try this. I did forget to bring in uh, in case and ice, but I kind of forgot how many red creatures he has now. I'm not sure how many he's got. I already forgot. We did see his whole deck, though, essentially. We'll play first. Yeah, I guess we keep this. It's not an insane hand, but uh, it's certainly a hand I can't mulligan. Well, at least we got a nice curve. Uh, I think we just drop Outrider and pass. So, a bit land heavy now, which... It's definitely going to spell trouble, but got to do what we can here. All right, bit of a bummer there, kind of a bummer draw, but I'm going to go for this play. Yeah, really problematic, really bad, but we just drew too many lands, so can't really do anything. Not really interested in trading a Berserker for an Aspirant either. So kind of a waste of a Ojtai's Breath, but... We just drew too many lands. I, I have no choice. I kind of have to make proactive plays here. Our opponent's deck has got more powerful cards than we do, so I have to try and, and make plays as fast as I can, but 
just really not able to. Alright. It certainly helps, but he does have contradict mana up, so I think I'm going to have to. And he's running Silmgar Scorn, so maybe he plays something here. I guess Berserker kind of lets me play around Contradict, which is nice. Oof, that's a big old bummer. All right. It's pretty rough. Can't do anything about it. Yeah, some car scorn doesn't do much. Uh, uh, we're in trouble. Yeah. Not much we can do. Just true to me, lands this game. It happens. Mmm, wish I could do something about that. Just not able to. Yeah, can't do anything about that because we don't have a dragon. Anticipates would have been good when I could have busted out the Silmgar Scorn, but yeah, that's pretty bad. All right, well, just GG's at this point. So hopefully we can draw a little bit better in uh, round three. Kind of a disappointing uh, flood into flood uh, match here, but... Our opponent's deck did have better cards than we did, so I guess it's not uh, super surprising. Yeah, I'm just going to concede. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in round three.